Kristen Welker is moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, good morning. It is great to see you. It's been a very busy week from New Hampshire forward in politics. And I know you'll be sitting down this morning with Nikki Haley, who certainly, even since New Hampshire, has sharpened her attacks on President Trump, even folding Trump and Biden together in her criticism of their age. Willie, you're absolutely right. The former U.N. ambassador, Nikki Haley, is clearly ramping up her strategy with 27 days to go before the all-important Republican presidential primary in South Carolina. She is clear-eyed, I'm told, from sources close to her about the reality of this. Trump is coming off of these big wins in Iowa and New Hampshire. He's leading in South Carolina, her home state, by double digits. He secured the endorsement of a number of top officials so what is her path? What does she need to do? Clearly, part of her strategy is to ramp up her attacks. But how is she going to convince Republican voters to abandon Trump, to come over to her? So she is facing an uphill battle. The key could be making sure that donors stay on board, Willie. But we're going to ask her, is South Carolina critical to her nomination prospects? And what does the road look like after South Carolina? She's getting a lot of pressure to drop out of this race from the former president. And by the way, from the RNC as well, which is supposed to be an independent arbiter. So we're going to get her reaction to that pressured campaign. Is she feeling the heat? And what's her strategy to the nomination? All coming up on Meet the Press, Willie. Be a fascinating conversation. Can't wait to see it, Kristen. Thanks so much. We'll be watching, of course, Meet the Press when Kristen is joined exclusively by Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley, as well as New York's Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.